Welcome to my channel, Shavers and Shavettes. I hope you are all doing well today. I am very excited about this video. Before we get too far into it, using a rubber set 203 that I re-knotted with some nice two-band badger, the all-time favorite open comb gem micromatic, and all you need to know is this. Floris is back. This is something that I actually heard about way back at the beginning of August last year. Some people started reporting that they had changed their formula from the previous change, which completely ruined the soap, back into something that is a high quality, very nice triple mill hard soap. I hadn't planned on making this video this morning, but I got the box from Bull Goose Shaving yesterday. I made the mistake of opening the soap and uh, couldn't put it down. I have the Elite scent, which happens to be one of my all-time favorite scents. I could not resist using it today, throwing up the camera and uh, making a quick video. I will warn you, I was a little too excited. I mowed right over a blemish on my chin. There will be, generally, relatively speaking, uh, quite a bit of blood in this video. If you don't want to see that, you've got all the important news. Floris hard soaps are back to the quality where they should be, back to the quality that they were before the previous formula change. I can absolutely recommend, if you enjoy the Elite or number 89 scent from Floris, you will be happy with these soaps. This, going back it, towards the beginning of my wet shaving career, Floris was still making the really good soap. I was able to pick up a puck and really enjoyed it. Elite was my first entry in higher, at least, end scents, higher end products. And uh, I maybe I'm a little biased with that being such an early experience, but it is one of my absolute favorite scents. And uh, picked up a puck of the soap, really enjoyed using it, didn't have near the collection I have now, and uh, went through it relatively quick. By the time I was done with that puck and considering a second, they had changed their formula into something that no longer resembled a shaving soap. So I'd pretty much written it off. I can't think of any other company that has made the comeback to a quality recipe. Uh, but then again, like I said, back in August, people started reporting that the formula had changed. They were getting good results again. Quality ingredients, quality lather. From the sounds of it, it depends a little bit on where you purchase. If you're getting the old formula, which is uh, not so great, or this new one. Like I said, I purchased this from Bull Goose. They had just started stocking Floris now that it is a quality product once more. I, uh, if, if you've never used Bull Goose Shaving, definitely recommend their site. Only had minor little hiccup one time with an order, but Phil was awesome and took care of things immediately. So certainly recommend Bull Goose Shaving. Uh, I was confident that Phil would make sure that probably that he only got the new formula if they are actually producing any of the old. Um, but not only that, but he would make sure that we, the consumers, were just getting the good, the good new formula as well. So I certainly shopped with confidence and was not disappointed. The lather itself, what can I say? It is a top of the line, high quality, hard, triple milled soap. It does produce a lather that is different than a lot of the artisan soft soaps that, uh, that are so popular today. I prefer hard soap. So this is right up my alley. Absolutely wonderful. Very slick, very fragrant, just a treat to work with. This was my very first shave with this puck and had absolutely no issues whatsoever. No soaking of the puck, no wetting it down, no blooming, any of that stuff. Take off my brush really good, squeeze it out to where it's just damp. Swirl it around to build up some soap in the brush and then lather right on the face that's the way i do it anyway but like i said i was just excited i hope you are excited about this information too if you've never used flores soap definitely give them a try if you got bit by the old formula those days are gone such a happy thing to be able to say 
I really hope that some of the other companies take note of uh, what's going on and bring back old formulas, bring back quality products. But that's all I really wanted to say today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And uh, hope you have a great day.